My name is Chef Sumit. We are doing Baluta sauce today. So when I make Baluta sauce, I need stock, chicken white stock. I need flour, I need butter. So Baluta sauce is something which if I put chicken stock into it, it will become a chicken Baluta. If I put fish stock into it, it will become a fish Baluta. Baluta uh, sauce is also, it does also acts as a thickener. So it, it helps me to make my soups thicken, chowders I can thicken with it. It goes well with, with uh, poultries. If I were to serve a roasted chicken, I can serve chicken baluta with it. If I have some pies, I can serve uh, uh, pies with baluta sauce. And when I'm making baluta sauce, I'll be making a blonde brew. So the brew will give me a texture of, a uh, smell of, sorry, uh, roasted nut. Me, I have some very energetic first year students who are like keen for uh, kitchen. So I have, uh, have Kartike with me, I have Keshav, I have Alfraz, and I have Sol. So these four chaps would be showing you guys how to make Balute sauce today. Hello everybody. Today we are going to make a Balute sauce. For making Balute sauce, what we need is roux. And roux, roux is the equal quantity of butter and flour cooked together. There are three types of roux. White roux, blonde roux and brown roux. Today for Balute sauce, we are making a blonde roux. For making blonde roux, I am adding 50 grams of butter in it. On low flame, and I'll wait till the butter butter gets melted. So basically, our butter has melted down. But I think so, my friend Kartika has forgotten to forgotten to add flour to it. So I would add 50 grams of flour to our butter. I will start make a brown roux. So, uh, I will continue to cook the blonde roux until it becomes blonde. Now the roux has turned in the blonde color and it is giving very nice nutty aroma. The roux has reached the desirable color and it's time to add white chicken stock to it. It's very important that we add stock and we continue whisking this otherwise we'll have lumps. We can add stock in batches to avoid any lumps. So we'll add the last batch of stock and we'll cook this for roughly around 20 or uh, 15 minutes till it becomes uh, nice and viscous. Obviously, otherwise we'll have lumps which is not a desirable texture. So we don't want a sauce which have lumps in it. But in case if your sauce has lumps, what you can do is you can put this in a blender and blend it and sieve it nicely. So it's almost been 10 minutes that the sauce is simmering. It's time that I add my shashidi spice in the sauce and continue to whisk. Now it's time I think we should season our sauce. We'll add some salt and pepper into it. Simple test would be if I put a spoon inside the sauce and I see if the spoon, the back of the spoon is coating the sauce. So I think yes it is there. I'll switch off my flame. The plate should have your starch, your fibers and the protein. Now it's time to add my balute sauce. This will nicely complement the dish. So the most interesting point now, where we get to taste the food. Guys, can you taste this for me and tell me how it has come out? 